So this video will try to demonstrate how to take input in Java. Consider this flowchart where we are prompting for a number. As you can see in the screen. And then we read. So we're taking only one input and then printing it out on the screen to see which number was entered by the user. So that's a pretty simple stuff. So if you remember what we discussed about start and stop in flowcharts and code, the start for the Java program would be public class then the name of the program followed by curly bracket open and then public static void main string args and then the second curly bracket open so this would actually correspond to the start for the flowchart so our stop would be the two curly bracket close as you already know so now what we will try to do is write the code for prompt so we all know that prompt is an output so all that we need to do here would be to write system.out.println which is the code that we write to output something to the screen so in order to print the number that we have taken as input what we need to do is create a space where we can put it and hence we are creating the variable num which is of type int and then to handle the print num portion we simply write system dot out dot print ln and then the name of the variable now to handle the read part which we haven't yet studied so in Java we need to use scanner to take input so what we do is at the very top of the program we need to tell Java that we will be using scanner for this program so we do that by writing import java.util.scanner and we put a semicolon after that so in order to use a scanner we need to create it first so we have first told Java that we want to use scanner and then we are creating the scanner so how we create it is now being displayed on the screen scanner meow equals new scanner system.in the name meow is absurd and thus it indicates that any valid name can be given there instead of meow that is So to actually translate read num in Java, we will need to use a function of the scanner. To take an integer as input, we use next int.
So there are similar functions that handle input for other types. For example, next double for double, next float for float and so on. If you notice that the next int follows Java convention, it's a two word name, hence the first character of the second word is actually capital. So now if you look at the whole code, you'll see that red are the stuff that we have to always write for this program. The green part are the names that we can change. We can put any valid name in there. And the blue lines are actually the ones that we are adding to handle that read num. So the two tasks that we need to do are first tell Java that we want to use scanner. So we write import space java.util.scanner semicolon. And then we create a scanner, scanner meow equals new scanner system dot end. And then we can use that scanner to take input. In the name of the scanner dot the name of the function, which in this case is next end. So notice that we don't need to create scanners if we want to take more input. We can use the same scanner and take as many input as necessary.